What is up you guys? Hi, I was here today and we're gonna look at today's gameplay. Around 5pm today in the server game time, League of Angels experienced a server crash. So we couldn't access the game as well as GT Arcade website and forum. And they have compensated us with 200 diamonds. Okay, so enough of the server compensation. Today we're gonna look at um, arena battle and later on I'll be doing a 10 super divine draw for me to get my dragons my dragon queen's soul stone which I am looking looking forward to um, for for very long so we're gonna take a look at my fight with Demi Secret he's one he is my vice leader in demigods and we're gonna see how um, how his blood baroness actually does very high damage. So today's spotlight in this fight is the Blood Baroness. Um, you know that she has been over, no, she has been underestimated a lot because um, not a lot of people use her and her soul stones are farmed using the ordinary feast, which not many of us, or if not a lot of us, don't do it. Um, Blood Baroness Rage Spell, which is Dance of Death, is really lethal, where she does damage to all the heroes like this right now. See how fast my heroes just die, Dragon Queen, Queen just died, and she, she bleeds two other heroes. You know, she's like a melee green ranger where every point of health that she minuses, she gains damage. So, um, in this fight, I lost because of Blood Baroness's um, rage spell, and her, her physical defense is strong because of her runes, which has physical defense and magical defense. I've been losing a lot lately and my rank now is at rank 16 so that was Demi's secret which was my vice leader. Now we're gonna take a look, look at, pa, um, at Star Lord who is one of my guild members as well. You know we have a lot of this arena battle but we don't hold, hold grudges with each other. And Star Lord uses Astro Chow and I have been using Astro Chow as well and the only thing you need to know about Astro Chow is that she needs to get her shield up. So she needs to get her Rage spell which is Star Blessing up and her three other spell which is Light Shoe, Strong Shoe and Ray of Light is catered to make the Star Blessing stronger. So when she has her, her Star Blessing up, she can actually shield her teammates from damage and the damage is reflected onto the opponent who does the damage. Um, in this fight you can see that I, I thought that I was winning, I am on um, the left side um, but very soon I, I find myself losing to her um, and people have been using summoner as well summoner's a great great um, offensive mage hero um, she almost every time you, uh, is able to do two attacks because of her second spell which is puppet control um, but right now you see that summoner is uh, dead as well and we have a 3v3 3v3 here uh, but we, re we later realized that um, I am losing and um, her Astro Chow is standing strong, so the only way to take down Astro Chow if you want to take down Astro Chow is either use a Headless Horseman where you bring down Astro Chow's Rage or you stun her with Stikes or, or Elder Dwarf or even so you can use Stikes to actually stun her with Stikes second spell so when Astro Chow is stunned or controlled, she's practically useless. So right now we're gonna try and see if we can fight and head on to rank 12. Right now I have been facing a lot of difficulties with X0, this robot over here as well as Lumia. Um, so we're gonna try and fight Renoise. Right now um, I'm, I'm gonna change my Angel to Stikes because he has a Lumia and um, XO and we need to actually stun them in order to prevent them from doing any um, defensive defensive spell. For example Lumia can heal and the XO will do all his Fire, firestorm thingy, and he heals his his teammate. So it's pretty annoying. I'm gonna put on Elder Dwarf at the top, and um, because of Hellhound at the back row, I can't use any um, offensive heroes. For example, Pyrona or Nightblade, because Hellhound will use his Rage spell and bring them down very very quickly. So I can use the Raider at my back row. I'm gonna use Astro Trail right here, but um, the Hellhound would be very annoying because he might lower the rage of Astro Child with his attacks. I am going to bring on Headless Horseman 
in the middle to silence Lumia and I am going to bring in um, let me see I am going to bring in I'm thinking of Exorcist to silence my opponent and counter XO's burning spell or I can use Light Envoy I'm thinking I need to bring down the Lumia at the back so I am going to use the Zerker Claw BR rating for me is 130 thousand and Renoise is 138 thousand so let's go and, we'll, and we'll, we'll check it out oh what after all the planning has changed so hey warrior is at rank 12 and obviously I cannot fight him his his VR rating is way way high I'm gonna change the ranking right now um, yeah okay so right now we have Star Lord, Burden Reese, Renoise at 17 so we're gonna fight him because we've been planning on fighting him and we'll see how it goes. He's using the Angel Flora, which is which is a strong offensive hero, one of the strongest in my opinion. And if you you guys check out the the heroes and angel menu, we have a couple of new heroes. I've, I've shown you guys the Cat Ninja previously. Okay, so back to the fight. We have uh, Lumia shooting the the front two heroes and Hell Horn using his shield for the back line. My Hitler Horseman is damaged. Um, Okay, so Elder Dwarf on my side is able to defend against Hellhorn. Look at how um, Flora just, just smashes my Hitler's Horseman. Okay, we're going to bring down Lumia in a while. I need Astro Child to bring up her spell as soon as possible. Hitler's Horseman fails, uh, fails to die. Um, he is left with a dot, Berserker Claw, and Hitler's Horseman dies because of XO, the robot. And I need Astro Child's shield as soon as possible. Um, Lumia is healing okay and he heals xo is healing his team as well and he's really a, a great support and offense i think that i'm losing at this point of time because i have lost my offense which is hateless horseman and berserk claw astro child brings up his shoe but i don't think i can do anything about it um the robot this annoying robot is just bringing down the radar we can see that his attacks is, are really strong he's gonna do a burn really soon okay so Hitler, um, hellhorn just minuses the rage of my heroes Okay, and he does. He is he is very similar to Michaela. I am going down really soon. Stax is not helping. She's really not helping. I can't counter them because of the defense that is done by XO Robot as well as Lumia and Hellhound. This is so annoying, and my Astro Child is just going to go down really soon. Wow, that was an in interesting defensive match. We're just gonna look at it once more and we can see that we had um Renoise has four defensive hero, Lumia, he has Elder Dwarf, XO as well as Hellhound, and I cannot bring his heroes down because of the shoe that his heroes are are bring on. Uh, Narada is just doing very little damage, even though Berserk Claw tries to bring down Lumia but I just can't do it, Flora just slowly but steadily, steadily decreases my hero's fight. I know this is a replay but I just want to see how strong his defense is and it's really annoying for how the Hellhorn is just reducing the rage of all my heroes. The XO's spell which is the Firestorm, I don't know what, it, what it's called but it's really strong, just brings me down and Narada's ultimate is just tickling the back line. Um, so you, you can see that Hellhound is a counter to Narada because of his shoot. So whenever Narada uses her rage spell, the back row is just shooted. So Hellhound counters Narada. It's crazy. So now we know, now we know. We all learn slowly and, sit and steadily and Stax is just hopeless in this match. Okay, so we're done with that match. This is a learning point for me and hope, I hope that it helps you guys. Okay, we're going to try someone easier which is Burton Reese. He has Lumia as well as Vakri, um, one of the strong defense hero and he's going to build a full defense team. So what I can do is try and silence either the Guardian or Lumia. I am going to bring in Nightblade right now because um, no one can he has no offensive uh, heroes to bring down Nightblade. I'm going to bring in Hailer's Horseman at the top as well as a Berserker Claw to try 
an extra Lumia so that he stuns Lumia. We can have um, Pyrona in front to stun or to, to hex Vakery. And the last hero that I want to get is my Earth Shaker. And he's going to stun the Nether Knight. So we're going to see how we fare against the three top defensive hero, Elder Dwarf, Vakery, and Nether Knight. So my BR rating right now is a little lower than him, 131k, but we'll see how we fare. Let's go! So we ha we're in the match right now, and he's using Athena. Uh, he's going to get lots of heal and rage, but I hope the Night Blade can bring down Nether Knight and the Guardian. And Healer Sourceman can quickly stun Lumia and bring her, bring her down, which is possible, it's highly possible. Guardian is already down, and he only shields the front line, he doesn't shield him, himself. So this is a mini, mini um, flaw in this, in this setup. Um, Lumia manages to, to stun my Healer's Horseman and uh, Nightblade, but we can see that Nightblade will charge a rage really soon. Okay, and the Fire Emblem just destroyed Guardian. We have Berserker Claw doing what he's supposed to do to stun Lumia, but right now it's not it's not acting up. I have Earthshaker to that just stun Nether Knight and Pyrona just Polymorph Vakery, which is what I intended to do. Lumia just heals the front line and does a shield for them. But we're going to try and bring them down because he doesn't have a Guardian. We need to take down the Lumia as soon as possible. Can can Flora do that? Nope. Athena heals Lumia. Nightblade just does an Audi. We cannot get the shoe on Nether Knight, which we, we are not getting. I need to see a stun from Berserker Claw because Lumia is just supporting a three heroes in the front. Okay, so Halo Sourceman, come on. She heals them again. I need Halo Sourceman to do a silence to both of them. Okay, we got the silence on Lumia. We got the stun. Nope. No stun on Nether Knight. He heals back his life. Flora minuses the rage. Athena heals. I need Berserker Claw to throw his axe. I need to take down Lumia as soon as possible. We've got the, the shoot from the three defense teams in front. Okay, so we've got the stun from Berserker Claw, but no, no damage. Earthshaker cannot bring them down. Flora is just minusing their rage and Athena heals. This is a vicious cycle. I can bring down Vakery. Okay, and I'm, I think that I'm going to lose because of the timeout. I, I, I can't destroy Nether Knight. And Nether Knight just destroyed Earthshaker. Lumen just heals and stuns and puts the shield. This is, this is a strong defense which I can't bring down. I need to find a way to penetrate through Lumia and finally Flora does a attack but it's not working right now Nether Knight, uh, Nether Knight is just defending against Nightblade and we have lost because of a timeout so this is not this is not a good day for me guys I've just lost so many matches no I'm not gonna replay I apologize but I've just lost so many matches I'm just so so upset right now just losing all the way, just losing all the way. Um, this is bad. This is bad. But sometimes we we win and we lose. We give and take. So right now I'm gonna show you guys the event that is happening right now. Where if I do ten super divine draws, I am able to get um, the dragon queen shards, which is over here right now. Just five shards, but it'll, be, it'll make me happy. Yeah, uh, my dragon queen is at eighty. 87. I don't know why I'm, I'm still using her. I'm trying to bring her to 5 star to increase my female emblem. Um, 84 runes, uh, 84 soul stones. So, without further ado, let us go and do 10 super divine draw, which costs us 5,000 diamonds. So, we're gonna open all the normal cards right now. We've got Summoner, we've got Grimbo, we've got Exorcist. This is just useless, useless items. Okay, nothing is useless, but well. And we've got Hecate, um, which I already have. Um, and Hecate right now, I think she is 3 stars or 4 stars, so that is a little helpful. Although I don't think I'm gonna increase her anytime soon. Um, yep. So right now, we're just gonna claim the shots given at the event, which is the Divine event. Um, let me see, where is it? Okay, so. 10 Super Divine Draw, we've got the Dragon Queen and Snow Rider. 
which is somewhat similar to an Atlanta. I can do. I just can do. I can do 20 Super Divine Draw because like, I don't have enough diamonds. Um, and this is it right now. Okay, so for, for one last thing is that if you guys participated in the 30th October to 7th November give code contest, great news because the contest results are out. So the results are posted on my Facebook page, High House Gaming. You can find the link down below. Check it out and see if you guys have won. Um, there are some instructions that you can follow and yep, congratulations to the winners. And for the rest of you guys, thank you for participating and there will be future gift code events. So don't fret, there will be a lot of things for you guys. So let me know anything that you saw in the gameplay today on the arena, your thoughts on my setup that I've been using so much and you have anything that can help me improve, it'd be great. If not, if you guys have any questions, just leave them below and I'll be glad to help you answer them. Do subscribe to my video and share my video if you can. I'll see you soon. Ciao.